Very good. So next we have uh, mobile formulary, and then we have reminder and the enabling framework. So come and get ready if you're a reminder and the enabling framework. Hi. So our project is about this thing, which is the British National Formulary, which is a book full of medical things that I don't really understand. But from what I can gather, it's prescribing information about drugs, so that doctors know how much to give people, the doses, what two things together could kill you, which is quite important. And it changes a lot of the time, and almost every healthcare practitioner has a copy of this, and it's made out of trees, which is interesting as a content <laughs> delivery platform. This information is available online, on the BNF website, which is quite unpleasant to use and not helpful at all if you're worrying about not killing someone, which is another really good thing. So what we did was we essentially took their website and scraped the whole thing and downloaded it. And this data is now available to anyone who wants to use that. It's on GitHub, there's a link if people are interested in that. <laughs> Um, and we then took all the information out and put it into something that we can use. And we now have this, which is an application which works on your smartphone or your browser or your iPad. And you basically type in the name of the drug. And you have all of the information on paracetamol. So you now have the date, the dose information, and you can get all of the information that is in the BNF from here. And the idea is that this is quicker and easier than this book, which people have to carry around and lose. Now the, the BNF have. Uh, an application which you can download, which does this kind of thing. But it costs 30 pounds, which individual doctors can't expense or get the money back for. And it costs 30 pounds every six months, forever. Which is a good business model. But this data is public data, which was paid for by the taxpayer. And people should have access to it because it's our data. And that's largely what this project does. Uh. Well, there is one more thing that we worked on, which was, if I can get it to work, a digital delivery system for homeopathic drugs. <laughs> Where you now need to have no interaction with a physical substance at all. Disorder and get the drug name? Not at the minute. Uh, because the problem is that we did this by downloading somebody's website. <coughs> we could do that, but not in two days. It's a long problem. If they gave us the data, it would be really trivial. Anyway. And as far as the idea of downloading the data, you know, the way you've done it, um, first of all, can you be certain about the accuracy of the data? And secondly, if there are updates, yeah, how easy is it to update it? Well, the code to get from the BNF's website to this is all freely available. It's on the internet. You can look at it. You can do it again. You could do it tomorrow if you wanted to. Um, it's exactly what was on their website. So if there's a problem with it, it's because it was their problem. I've been arguing with the people who published the BNF for a long time about how stupidly unusable their site is and how miserly they are with access to their data. Do you think what you're doing is, is illegal? <laughs> because I, I mean, we pay huge amounts of money as, 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 as a community, as the state, 
for this stuff to be made, and then it's held behind a paywall of £30 for the app, uh, the paper copy is roughly the same amount, there's a password that takes, and you, it's a real fiddle to log in, it's really, really criminal. So I, I, I hope what you're doing is illegal, and I'd like to stand alongside you if you get sued, but do you think it is? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not actually a lawyer, but I think it's... I have no problems with the moral aspect of what we're doing. I don't care what you're doing. 